Hello everyone, my name is Francesco Cipollone, I'm the CEO and founder of Phoenix Security. Uh, today is part of the Cyber Awareness Month. In October we run Cyber Awareness Month and I wanted to come here, um, I want to do something a little bit different this month than just advertising campaigns and doing uh, cyber awareness that is generic. We want to focus on data and what is the data that sits behind a lot of the buzzword, a lot of the things that you hear, CWE, CVE, OWASP, OWASP top 10 and other element like is a vulnerability exploitable, is a vulnerability a zero day. What are the meaning behind this information and this buzzword? So we wanted to dive deeper in crossing the data sets that actually make the information that we have available, like the CWE top 25, OWASP top 10, and other um, most exploitable vulnerability, EPSS, and more and more data source and, and information available that forms fundamentally the ability to predict where a vulnerability is highly exploitable, low exploitable, something that we need to look at or not. So. For this month, we are going to publish every week, starting with today, on an analysis of OWASP Top 10, the data that sits behind OWASP, and the timeline behind um, how the vulnerability have changed over the years, and which are the vulnerabilities that are rising, and the vulnerabilities that are undermining or going down. And I hope that this, this information enable everybody to have a more data-driven approach and data-driven conversation around is something exploitable, is something not exploitable, is something uptrending or downtrending based on all this information. And this is, was always my philosophy to say, trust no one, trust the data, and then talk with data insight around uh, what kind of vulnerability it forms. So in this first installment, we look at uh, application security and what forms fundamentally insight and intelligence around what are attacker looking at or what are attacker attacking fundamentally at scale. Um, OWASP top 10 has been a pillar of our industry in terms of uh, prioritization score and CWE in terms of methodology of attack a little bit broader than just OWASP have been two kind of pillars of information to actually prioritize and look at what vulnerability is an actual vulnerability. Next, we're going to uh, look at cybersecurity exploitation. What is an exploitation? What does an exploitation mean? Uh, what are the data that sits behind um, OWASP.10, CWE, and more information. After that, we're going to look at exploitability and what forms uh, exploitability, the factor like APSS or bug bounty program. And finally, we're going to focus on uh, zero day and what form of zero day and what are the elements that sits behind those information. So I hope this data and the exploration of this data and the visualization of this data is helpful for you to demonstrate and look at this kind of password and the mystify the password. Please don't trust no one, trust only the data that sits behind exploitability, OWASP, application security, and all this other terminology uh, that it sits out there. Also, let us know in the comments what you think about uh, the data visualization, what we should uh, research uh, more or less um, and focus on more because we like uh, your comment and, and your feedback. So I hope this information will be useful for you in your Cyber Awareness Month and be more aware of the data that sits behind the vulnerability that you see out there. My name is Francesco Cipollone. I'm the CEO and founder of Phoenix Security. Stay safe out there and trust no one. Trust the data that sits behind your vulnerability. Goodbye. Phoenix, fix vulnerabilities today before attackers exploit them tomorrow.